Hello hikers, welcome back to African Hiker. I'm Anita and I make videos about various hiking trails in Africa. Today I'll be showing you what I've packed for the Otter Trail, South Africa's most iconic hike. I categorize my hiking gear as if it is my home. My backpack is the house, minus 52 liters and can expand by eight liters. Upon entering the house, the first room is the kitchen. Here you'll have food, lunch is right at the top for easy access in the middle of the day, a cooking set, gas, lighter and stove. They fit neatly into my pot and I eat from my pot so I don't have to carry a plate or a bowl. I also have a cup, a bladder, fork, spoon, knife and a scrubby to do the dishes. Next to the kitchen is the closet. Here I have a rain jacket and a light fleece in case it gets chilly on the trail. A thicker fleece jersey and pants for the evenings. A thermal top and pants to sleep in. A beanie. Socks. I don't skimp on socks. I even pack an extra woolly pair especially for sleeping in. A down jacket just in case it's colder than I expect. And a bath. I will be wearing my hat, sunglasses, shirt, hiking pants socks and boots and of course underwear underneath uh, <laughs> i'm only taking one pair of hiking pants for the entire hike it's five days it'll be fine and then i'm taking two shirts the one i'm wearing and a spare save weight where you can and use that saved weight to pack a swimming costume and goggles and a book i thought this would be fitting for the otter let's go to the bathroom quick it's right on top we have toilet paper basic personal toiletries, sunscreen, a quick dry towel, a first aid kit. To this I have added my choice of painkillers, anti-inflammatories and rehydrates. If you sometimes get cramps, pack something for cramps. There's a lot of climbing on this hike. A muscle rub might also be useful. Next we have the bedroom. This is right at the bottom of the bag. A headlamp, sleeping mat. I'm bringing mine but there are mattresses in the hut. I'm just fussy about where I sleep. And then a sleeping bag. I'm not packing a sleeping bag, but you must. Instead, I'm taking my thermal liner and a fleece blanket, and that should be fine for me in the hut. I'm doing this because my sleeping bag is just really warm, <laughs> and I don't want to carry the extra weight. In my garage, I have a survival bag and cable ties for the Blokrans River crossing, and a rain cover just in case. The office is its own little dry bag. I have a power bank, a spare battery for my camera, and all the necessary cables for charging. On the outside are my camp shoes. I'll most likely also wear these for river crossings and hiking poles. I'm undecided about the hiking poles though. The only thing making me want to take them is the way my friend complained about her knees after doing the otter. There we go, our bags are all packed for the otter trail. And actually, this is how I always pack my bag for a hatted hike. Just some minor changes here and there depending on the location and weather. Enjoy the Otter Trail and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!